Hello guys, this is Maj again with another Photoshop tutorial. This will be our third this week. And today we'll be doing something extraordinary. Something most of you have probably not seen before. And that is because it's something not been out there yet. This effect has been discovered by me through experimentation. And some people like this, some people don't. And I absolutely love it. Um, what it is, is the optical illusion of our text. If you can't see, which I hope you can, it says Mirage, M-I-R-A-J, and it's supposed to create this illusion. So, to get started with this effect, same as always, you want to go to File, New, and create a new document. You can make the size to whatever one but I will keep it 600 by 600 just for this tutorial and press OK <coughs> excuse me now we want to add our text I'm just going to write Mirage again right click our text layer now go to blending options we want to set our color overlay on and change the red to white and then press OK. So now our text has completely disappeared from our document. Next we want to create our stroke. Oh my god it has reappeared. We want to change the size to 1 pixels and now we have our outline for our text and then press OK. Ok great so now we have our text outline. So next we'll need to have our lines. So to create our lines, we will use the pen tool. We will want to create an, a new layer by clicking the icon on the bottom right, or you can go to Layer, New Layer. So once you have a new layer created, we will start by our horizontal lines. So click once outside the document, click once inside the document, and hold and drag to create a curve. And then click once outside the document again. So now we have a really smooth line. We want to right click. Actually before we do that, make sure that when you go to your brush tool, your brush tool size is 1 pixels on a solid circle. Now go back to your pen tool, right click, and click stroke path. Make sure stimulant pressure is turned off. There is, it's not checked on the box. It's off, and your tool is brush, and then press OK. Now you can go ahead and delete the path that we created, and now you can see that we have a really nice line. Next, you want to duplicate this layer, and now this is the line that we are going to use to create multiple uh, lines. So instead of keeping each line constant, we want to change it around. So instead of having a loop up here and a loop down here, let's have it loop down here and then loop up there. Just to change things around. So to do that, we'll just flip it vertical. And then if you want, you can flip it horizontal again to make completely throw it off and then apply your, apply your line. Once again, you want to duplicate your layer, drag it down, press Ctrl T, flip it horizontal, and apply. Once, well, we have a little error. You see how there's a line overlapping this? We don't have enough space there, so we want to move the line either up and down so that it's not exactly lying on top of that corner. So I will move it a little bit down and then quick duplicate this line. I'll flip it horizontal this time and move it down a little more. That sh looks good and I'll apply the line. I'm going to duplicate it again since we have some white space on the bottom that we must fill. 
and I'll flip it horizontal and vertical. Change things around. Also make sure that all your lines are touching the outside of your document and it's not shifted over like that because if there is a white space in between this effect will not work. So once you have that line created we still have one more room for one more so I will just flip it horizontal and vertical. So there we go. We have our horizontal lines done. We want to create layer 1, select layer 1, hold shift and select all the way to the top layer, topmost layer. Right click these layers and click merge layers. Rename this to horizontal lines and we have all our horizontal lines in one merged layer now. It's great, it just cleans our workspace now. Now we want to work with our vertical lines, so go back to our pen tool, click once outside the document, hold and drag once inside the document, and then hold once and outside the document. Create a new layer, right click, stroke path, and press OK. Right click again and delete our path so the boxes disappear. You can move the line around to whatever pleases you, but just make sure and it doesn't create an overlap from these lines like that, and it doesn't create small spaces like that. So you want it to be pretty large enough to be noticeable. So that room is perfect. Want to duplicate the line one more time, and this time we'll flip it vertical. That looks good. Oh, there we go. I made that error. So, what we do now is just move the line down, and that's great. Right click, duplicate layer, flip it horizontal, and shift it over. duplicate this layer again and this time we'll create vertical that looks good press ok make sure there's at least one line going through the spaces in between the R and the A so we want to duplicate this layer and shift it over and let's try flipping a vertical Now, flipping it, actually I've noticed an error. There's still white space here, so I will just move this up. Perfect. Now, I can't fit this in here, so I will try flipping it vertical one more time. And horizontal. It does not fill in the white space, so I will flip it vertical again. And there you go. You want to duplicate it again. And let's flip it horizontal. Perfect. Duplicate this layer. And now we'll work with the A. Make sure that the hole is filled in. Just like that. Perfect. Duplicate again. And now we'll work with the J. Looks like we have room for one more line over here. So duplicate this layer for the last time. 
and we'll flip it vertical. Vertical won't fit. Let's flip it horizontal. And that should be good. It should be all set to go. Check all your edges and see they're all filled. And looks great. You want to create layer one, hold shift, and click all the way up, right click, and merge layers. We'll rename this to vertical lines. So now we have the basic framework of our illusion finished. So you want to create a new layer now and apply the image. Now here comes the tricky part. The part that will take time and that is coloring it in. So to start we want to choose our paint tool and color one the le top left corner. You want to skip one white space and color the next space after that. So we want to keep alternating. So black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black. Now this next one is going to be white black white black white black white black white black and this one's going to be black white black white black white black white black so now you're wondering what about the letters themselves well if you see the pattern all these are going diagonal so black at diagonal to that is black diagonal to that is black diagonal to that is black so what's diagonal to this? Well, we have this space right here and this space right here. Diagonal to that is this space. Diagonal to that is this space. Diagonal to that is that space. Diagonal to this is this space. Diagonal to that is this space. So they are all connecting now. It's, it's like it's like a puzzle, if you want to think of it that way. So black, black. Black, 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 black. Block. Whoops. Black. Um. Black. 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 And there you go. We have our optical illusion. Now, you don't have to keep it black and white, you can change the colors around. And to do that, you want to create a gradient map. To create a gradient map, on, you want to click on the small black and white icon on the bottom right, and click gradient map. Click the gradient map gradients. Your first color is going to be whatever you want, so let's say we want to keep it black and red so we would choose black and for our second color we would choose black so we have red and black or maybe let's say you want some goldish color so like that and then maybe you don't want yellow to be here you want black there so you just click reverse 